High school basketball takes center stage this weekend across Southeast Texas. There are a host of tournaments from one to East Chambers to one in Woodville, but we begin with the James Gamble Tournament. Memorial High School, the site for it. Westbrook taking on Fort Bend Hightower in Westbrook's first round game. First quarter, Bruins with it. Jordan Green from deep buries the tray. The first points of the game for Westbrook is the three. Then Jordan Green to Ricky Guillory. Nice move inside, easy layup. The Brook up by five. Fourth quarter, Westbrook with possession. Check out this passing. Very nice. Inside of Ricky Guillory, hits the easy layup. The Bruins were up by one in the closing seconds. Last chance for Hightower. Daniel House to win it. Oh, so close. The Bruins hang on to win 57-56. Another 21-5A school was playing in the James Gamble Tournament today. It was the host school Memorial. The Titans win their first round game against Houston and Cashmere. 86 to 55. After Westbrook played, Ozan took to the court to face Houston Fur in their first round matchup. Good start for the Panthers inside to Christian Bolton. The shot no good, but he stays with it, puts it back in for two points. Later, Jordan Hunter inbounding the ball. Check out this play. Right back at you, give and go. Just like they drew it up. Panthers up six to five. Ozan head coach Marcus Savette thinking, keep it up, fellas. You'd like this then. On the break to master, Sam gives it to Jordan Hunter. Hits the easy button. That's a layup for two points for Ozan. The Panthers pull away soon thereafter. They win 83 to 32. Earlier in the day, the Silsby Tigers were in action, taking on C.E. King in their first round game. Third quarter, good defense by Silsby's Chris Elam. He steals the ball, takes it the other way, and lays it in. Tigers up 47 to 43. Tigers down by one later in the quarter until this Patrick Reed not going to be denied and one he would miss the free throw but regardless sills be out in front more tigers right here the kick to jalen hardaway in the corner for three no doubt about it tigers up by six after three quarters but ce king comes back in the fourth quarter the tigers fall 91 to 84.